In a few days, NASA and many people across the globe will be celebrating the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. This brave mission saw NASA land people on the moon's surface. Not only that, but it was broadcast to over 600 million people. Over the last few months, reports have been going around that NASA lost the original footage of the first moonwalk. Although this sounds like some outlandish theory, there is actually some truth to this. NASA had this to say. NASA searched for but couldn't locate some of the original Apollo 11 data tapes. Original in the sense they directly recorded data transmitted from the moon. An intense search of archives and records concluded the most likely scenario was that the program managers determined there was no longer a need to keep the tapes, since all the video and data were recorded somewhere else and they were erased and reused. NASA also said the data from these original tapes were relayed to the manned spacecraft center, further saying the following. The video was recorded in there and in other locations. There is no missing video footage from the Apollo 11 moonwalk. Interestingly, it's been announced that a NASA intern is selling what he says are the lost Apollo 11 tapes. The worker said that he bought the tapes from the government, and that he hopes to sell them. However, NASA officials have said the tapes don't contain any material that hasn't already been preserved. NASA had this to say about the tapes. If the tapes are described in the sale material, they're two-inch videotapes recorded in Houston from the video that's been converted to a format that could be broadcast over commercial television and contain no material that hasn't been preserved at NASA. Incredibly though, the tapes are still thought to fetch up to $2 million. Recently, NASA have announced they're looking at doing manned missions to the moon again. NASA have said they're working hard to try and get the astronauts on the lunar south pole by 2024. It seems they're one step closer to this, as they've just tested their new launch abort system in Florida. This is part of NASA's new Orion spacecraft, and it's a capsule that will be able to take humans to the moon and bring them back again. The test that happened a few days ago is showing the researchers they're closer than ever to getting people back to the moon. The most recent test capsule landed in the ocean and broke up. It didn't deploy any parachutes as the researchers only wanted to test the abort system and that worked fine. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.